friends oh my gosh hello what is up it's melanie and today i have i probably say this a lot but i genuinely think this might be the biggest haul i've done i think i don't do hauls quite as much maybe you can call me out i might be wrong but this is definitely accumulated if you want to see how i style a lot of these items make sure to check out my other socials but other than that let's get into all of these cozy fun items for fall there is a big mix and lots of thrifting unfortunately i live like five minutes from a brandy so there's a lot of brandy in here and a lot of hollister some other stuff here and there but let's get into this video this honestly i have a lot of thrifted gems in here isn't this just so fall isn't this so cute i think i get a little more selective with my flannels i might be wrong i think i'm a little more selective i've been loving the neutral ones though i like quarter everything like quarter zip ups and like button ups i just think this is perfect for fall it's a tiny bit oversized on me i think it's men's and it is the brand structure i'm trying to give like some like, context to these items i thrift so that you can maybe hopefully find something similar because i know it's difficult when i find all these cool items but they're all thrifted this i'm definitely not saving the best for last because this might be my favorite item i thrifted but hold up look at this look at this adorable right it's just this huge oversized chunky knit sweater vest and i did not know i needed this until i saw it but it is actually the cutest thing ever it's very patchworky and it has like hearts and stuff and i like the little color scheme it's so fall so cozy very soft my goal is to be able to knit slash crochet this well until then i will thrift as much knit stuff that i can this was also thrifted but it was actually like you know this era of forever 21 yeah but i actually think it's like funny how stuff comes back into style or actually this might not even be in style at all but i thought it was cute it's another little like kind of a sweater vest but it also has like unique ish sleeves i think i'm gonna wear this more as like a cardigan than i will as a top but i thought it was really adorable and i liked it so much that i bought it even though it has a little stain i kind of imagined that one with like a long skirt okay this was a little like maybe i shouldn't have gotten this because it's definitely getting colder now but i was looking for the perfect pair of like longer shorts since the beginning of the summer i saw these and i just thought they would fit and somehow i still haven't tried them on but i guess i will for this video because duh it's a try on but they're from h&m and i think they were like five bucks so fingers crossed that they still fit because i'll definitely be wearing them on those random days at 70 degrees out or i'll wear them next summer i feel like denim shorts always a staple okay so i thrifted this and it was like brandy and it's just like a little slip dress that's floral i don't know i'm just like a sucker when i see brandy stuff at the thrift store just like i don't know i swear it could be ugly and i'll still buy it which is actually so embarrassing but i i do think this one's cute and i think i'll wear it especially like maybe not this exact shirt because it's kind of like oh Oh wait, this is in my haul too. I'll show you after. But maybe not over this shirt because it's kind of like off the shoulder -y. Maybe like a turtleneck. I think slip dresses over long sleeves. Adorable. Or slip dresses with like a chunky sweater on top so it just looks like a skirt also adorable this is just literally so plain it has like one of those little like crosses in the front i think what sold me on this is just it's good quality and it has this stitching and like this stitch i don't know i'm a sucker for stitching i also think i was going through a little melanie you only wear cream and brown you should get some more colors so i reach for it not really, but maybe I will in the future. Okay, this one was from actually a flea market, from the Los Feliz flea market. I actually vlogged my little haul for this. I still have not worn it, but I'm not completely at the point of regretting it yet. I think it's cool. Maybe I shouldn't have paid $20 for it. It was probably $20 to begin with, it's Gap, but I don't know. I still think it's unique. It's kind of like, just like a fun little take on a denim jacket. I just, I... I should really have like a vision for the items that I buy that are a little more out there, but I just didn't do that. This one, another one I thrifted that I haven't worn yet. Maybe it's cause it's like super oversized, but I don't know. I thought I would like make it work. I think it's the fact that it's oversized and then it's like kind of scrunched at the bottom. Cause then I'm kind of like, can't just wear it as a dress. Like what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I still like it though. It's a little more formal just cause it's like a button up. It's kind of like this very light material. I should figure out how to style this. The brand, just look at this. I don't know what it says uh yeah realize i have not been saying the brand sorry okay i got this i think it's very fun wait actually <laughs> don't get mad at me but i think i included this in a haul before but i'm gonna show you really quick in case i didn't because i actually realized i bought this back in the summer so i don't really remember but anyways it's a little vest but it has a suede neck and 
I got it, I'm sorry, on the way to school, driving to school, but I got it in like Portland. I don't know why, I associate Portland with like pretty good thrifting, even though I solely like believe that you can find good pieces anywhere. Cool, I wish I wore this more. I wish I wore all of my cool pieces more. Oh, by the way, <laughs> the brand, Crazy Horse, with a little lowercase a. This is the last item for thrifted things, I believe, unless I miss something, which is very possible, because I forget a lot of stuff. Okay, Loki, it kind of looks like scrubs, but like fancy. I'm not sure, I was really contemplating this one. Another thing, okay, I just like, when I thrift, I either buy like complete basics I don't need, or I buy things that are crazy and I never end up wearing them, but I don't know. I think I'll wear this. I think I will. It's just like embroidered galore. Like, look at this. To me, I think it might be too much embroidery. So it's pretty long. In my head, I was gonna crop it before I wore it. Never got to cropping it. And then like, you know, I haven't worn it because I didn't crop it. But I think I'll crop it and then I'll use the rest of the fabric for something. I have no clue. I just, it's cool, right? Like if I embroidered this, it would genuinely take me two years. I'm not gonna try. Let's look at some brandy stuff. Brandy being close to me next to like being in school and like being stressed is just not good because a little coffee in me, get a little like stress in me, I'm always stressed. It's bad because it's like a, oh, I failed a test. Like I need to cheer myself up, shock. And then it's like, oh, I need to treat myself. I just finished midterms, shock. Like, okay, I swear I'm not that bad. I also bake a lot to cheer myself up and to, to treat myself. So I think that's a good balance. Anyways, I got this dress. Love this guy. It is like a nice little slip dress, but it's kind of like that sporty fit where it's not super light or where it's not super tight. I really like it because I feel like you can dress it up or down. Definitely you can dress it very sporty and casual, but I feel like with a button up, it looks a little bit almost business casual. So I also feel like it's pretty good quality, which I really appreciate. When I was younger, I hated when Tots had built in like sports bras. I was like, can they just, can they just not? Like, but now I feel like I kind of appreciate it because I'm like a huge like this girl okay this can't tell what it is hopefully you'll tell in the try on it is just the world's longest skirt i have this in a floral print i had it twice in the same floral print and i left it in london don't need to bring that back it's just like the kind of tiered ruffled i don't know what the word is but it's just plain white i think i'll wear this a lot very basic simple flowy i've also grown like a really big love for long skirts i don't know why they're just crazy comfy you realize i need to speak a little bit faster. It is crazy how much a girl can accumulate in the matter of a couple months. Anyways, I have two tank tops, very spring looking tank tops that I probably should not have gotten because we are approaching the winter season, but I love floral. I will wear it whenever to whatever. So I got this one, I cropped it, and then I turned the crop part into headband. In my head, that's like a steal. I also got this one, probably, maybe, not sure if I'm gonna crop it, but it's lacy, a little bit wider of a top, and then it's a pinky floral. I got this black skirt. This is another thing that I ended up repurchasing that I left in London, but I don't even regret it. I really like this plain black mini skirt. Kind of a necessity, but this one's has like a little bow and it has like the mesh. So it's just like a little bit different. <laughs> and I got this sweater. I have it in brown and like cream. I just love it. So comfy. It's oversized. I don't know. I like this color too. Solid. Don't regret this version at all. I love it. I would get this sweater in every color. If I could, two things from pink. I have this. Set. It's like ribbed and it's this mustard color, which I think is really nice for fall and it's oversized Pink is so comfy. This is from Target. It's just a little tube top And I went through a phase where I was like tube tops are so cute and then I was like they're not so cute And then now I'm like they're so practical. Okay, a couple things from Amazon I got this top which unfortunately it doesn't look great on me because I just don't have boobs Like I need to remember when I look at a model I'm not the same boob size as her, okay? But it's a very cute idea. It's like very, shows a lot of your collarbones, I guess. So I feel like it's very elegant. It looks really good if you wear necklaces. I'll try it on for you guys. I'll try to make it look good. And then I got two pairs of running shorts actually because hopefully it still remains true by the time I upload this video, but I've been working out like semi-consistently compared to last year where I was like, I'm gonna bring all of my workout clothes and then not wear any of it because I don't work out at all. This is this year where I pack like two things and then I was like, oh shoot, I'm actually working out and so I have to do laundry every day. I guess that's better anyways because like, hell. These kind of like coffee, the Lululemon shorts, except they're high-waisted, which I love because I hate low-waisted things. This one is just like a, I don't know what these are. I don't think it's a Lulu dupe. I think it's just running shorts and they're very like basic, good, comfy. I forgot to show you this. This is also from Pink, but this is a workout top I've been wearing a lot. It's like sports bra, but longer. So I just wear it by itself and it has like 
cool by being that hopefully you can kind of see a couple things from urban outfitters i recently worked with urban outfitters so they sent me a couple things one of them is a lamb these are just like sweatpants but they have like the cross front waistband so i just feel like they're a little bit cuter these pants have been like my go-to's i don't know why i just think they're so so good for school i just think corduroy is so like i don't know i just think they're cute i did have to cut like five inches off of these because your girl is short but that's okay because they fit really well now and these ones they're like really heavy duty like they could actually be work pants but they're just cargo pants that are like cream colored they have like dark brown stitching and like huge pockets guys huge they're kind of like scrunchy in the back which is nice these originally did not look like this your girl had to do some damage with the scissors okay for a couple of shoes i'm just gonna show you but i customized these converse it wasn't that much work they're just brown high top converse but look at this did you know you could get a heart patch because i did not either until roughly a month ago okay these not shoes house slippers do i have a lot of house slippers at home yes did I pack any of them? No, I don't know why I didn't. Well, I know why I didn't. I was trying to cut down, but I adore house slippers. They feel so cozy. I'm a big complainer when my feet are cold. So these were actually a necessity and I love them. Okay, now to the bulk of this. I got a huge package from Hollister. So thank you so much, Hollister. And they let me choose a lot of these items and they're just adorable. So let me show you all of them. Firstly, I got two of these tops. You remember that one I told you about from Amazon that didn't end up working out because because girl don't have boobs. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's long sleeve, but this one actually like fits. So I love it. I have it in white. And then I also have it in this dark bluish shade of gray, like solid gray. A rectangle cut out. Shows your collarbones. So cute. Sweater season. Love this. It gives me Elena. What's her? Is it Gilmore? Wait. That's literally Gilmore Girls. I'm so dumb. What's her name? Elena Vampire Diaries? Does she not have a last name? Anyways, it reminds me of Vampire Diaries vibe. You see? Low neckline. And then like, look at this. Little baby doll. So cute. This sweater, it's like a cardigan. It's so cozy and soft. You know that whole like, I don't wear enough color. Alistair is helping me change that. This sweater, so like schooly. Like this makes me excited for class and not a lot makes me excited for class. Love the color. Love the little like collegiate looking collar and stuff. I think it'll be great for layering because it's pretty oversized. Okay, this corduroy white button up. I also really like the detail of these buttons. They're kind of like a marble look, which I think like adds a lot. This skirt I think is from Charlie and Dixie's line, which I did not know they had a line at Hollister, but I really dig this skirt. It is like a long black skirt. We'll be able to see it when I try it on, but it has these cut out holes on the side and a big old slit. This sweater. Oh my gosh. Do I want to get it in every single color to exist? Absolutely. So cozy. Firstly, softest material, softest knit in the world. Second, it's like cozy collar. You know what I'm saying? Like soft collar. It's so winter. Like I love it. Bit of a turn. This is the dress I wore to formal. It's kind of like that Zara dupe that has the like cupping, like the line that goes like this, but you can't really tell because it's black. Very nice dress. Kind of like a midi-ish length and it has a little bit of a slit. Okay, now I have some pants from Hollister and just like Urban Outfitters, your girl is short as human alive and I had to cut solid half a foot off of these, but it's okay. They fit well now. I got these pants, the ones I'm wearing right now. These pants, so cute. They're actually my favorite. Thank you to Hollister because they sent me literally like four pairs of them. And at first I was a little skeptical, guys. But boy, oh boy, I love them. Army green and black. I've been wearing the black ones all the dang time this gray color they also sent me these dark wash like super wide leg jeans even though i had to cut so much off i still love them i have this flannel it's nice because it's like a thicker flannel so i think i could get away with just wearing this instead of a jacket someday this is cool because it's like hound's tooth but it's kind of flannel looking too but it's just this cardigan sweater they sent me some shorts you can definitely wear it on days like today when it's a little bit hotter out these ones are very distressed this sweater which is so soft and it's also like a cozy turn uh, it's very like slouchy and I love the colors. Two more pairs of jeans. These ones are so fun. These ones also have not cut yet. So my apologies, you're going to see them very oversized on me. They have these stitched on hearts, which I think is just so fun. And then these ones are just light wash, wide leg once again. They're all plain, but they also come with this denim like matching belt which i'm not sure if i'm a fan of i think that i'll wear it with like other things if that makes sense probably not with the jeans i got some 
really really nice jackets and I love them this one haven't worn yet but it's very thick and like lined this one looks like the free people jacket and I adore this it's so warm it's fleece it has nice pockets everywhere it's just so so cozy love it I think it's also great because the free people one goes out of stock a lot okay and these two jackets are stunning it's fur lined but the inside you know how a lot of times it's like warm at the body but then the sleeves are just like not lined but this one is fuzzy everywhere and it's so warm and then this one i got a little oversized it's like 40 oversized but i also got it in a medium and it's just like this like light puffer and then it has this fuzzy collar and with that being said that was my entire haul anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope school or whatever you got going on in life is going well right now but thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check me out on my other socials to stay in touch and i'll see you in my next video Bye guys. I know you wanna leave, so come on, baby, be with me so happily.